This weekend, Parkview is hosting its Community Wine Garage sale. It is an exciting weekend. In yeah. conjunction with that, there's a pop-up parking lot event at Daisy Lane. Michelle Pratt is the owner of the shop, and she joins us now with all the details. Okay. Michelle, thanks for being here. Thank you for Thank having me. Should say welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we love having you here uh, in the studio. It means that uh, there's something fun going on. Yeah. Absolutely. So first, uh, tell us all about Daisy Lane. Um, it's in the North Scott area in Parkview. Correct. Yep. It's in the North Scott area. We've been open about three years. There's 22 different ladies who make things and sell them at the shop. We also have boutique clothing. Um, we've got four racks of boutique clothing, and wow. we do classes. Um, we host the farmer's market. Yeah. Yeah. We keep busy. <laughs> you yeah, definitely do, yeah. You do a lot of good things for the North Scott area. So uh, we've got the pop-up parking lot event coming up Correct. this weekend as part of the community-wide garage sales. So what can people expect as they come out? Obviously, uh, a little splash of all the vendors that you have at your shop, right? Right, right. There'll be a few of them out there and a lot of, of new ones who maybe don't sell in the shop but oh, just want to awesome. come out and sell okay. their wares in the parking lot. Um, um, and there will be a lot of fall going on inside the mm -hmm. shop. There'll be door prizes. Um, we've got a few sales going on, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah. So, yeah, lots of things to come out and shop for. And That's really great. And I think, you know, even beyond you say you have, what, 22 uh, vendors that are Correct. typically mm -hmm. uh, in your shop. Right. And then you've invited all of these uh, additional vendors for this parking lot pop-up. What is it about kind of cultivating, um, or I should say aggregating, all of these different small businesses together mm -hmm. in one spot? Why, why do you want to do that, and why are you passionate about that? Um, I think it started with, for me, many, many years ago when I started doing this type of work and I've kind of come the whole gamut, just wanting to connect with people like me and help us, all of us helping each other. You know, that's pretty much what my shop is there for yeah. is to help these small businesses, these ladies, and there can be men too. I hate to just say ladies, but sure. they're just ladies. Girl right power. Now. Yeah. <laughs> um, to give them a spot to sell their, you know, what they're passionate yeah. about and yeah. what they like to make um, and just offer that platform for them. That's great. Yeah, it's and, fun. And Michelle, you know, I, I remember coming out to your shop a few years ago, you know, shortly after you opened, and you said mm -hmm. the one thing that you wanted to do was more and more classes, and I'm always seeing stuff pop up on social media of a class coming up, and you right. have a, a class coming up this weekend, and yeah. it's a popular one. It's these chunky hand-knit pumpkins, it right? It is. Yeah, it this is, is a popular one. It is. This these is an cool. encore class on it. The first one sold out, um, and wow. we had more people who wanted to oh, wow. participate, so the ladies who come, I think we have three seats left. If oh. anybody's interested, there's just three seats left. Sound but you're going to make three different sides of those chunky yarn pumpkins. Everybody oh loves gosh. that chunky yarn. Yeah. It's so soft and, and fun. Well, it is. And you're always trying to look for something decor-wise that's more unique. You know, mm -hmm. I, you don't want to have like the same, you know, big box right. de decorations all over for, you know, fall, Halloween, Christmas. Right. You, you like to have that uniqueness. And so I think it's even more special when you can make it yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and a lot that. of people who come to those classes, we had one lady a lot of them will message me back on the page who's made all kinds of pumpkins. She's like, I'm giving everybody <laughs> pumpkins. You know, she's having so much fun with it. So I love that. Okay, yeah. well, here are some other upcoming uh, classes at Daisy Lane. Uh, Granny Square Crochet Class. What's Ooh. that one? So that is um, this. A lot of people, crochet has become pretty popular. Yeah, yes, yeah. it has. So we, um, this is kind of a, a step up from our basic class where they're okay. going to be making these granny squares. Mm -hmm. um, Mary Ann is coming and teaches this and okay. it's kind of for all ages. We get kids, adults, yeah. who wow. come for this class. This is just to show the different squares that you'll be learning. Sure. That's how cool. To make. Yeah, that's like, very cool. Like you said, yeah. I think crochet has become more and more popular. I think that was kind of like a pandemic hobby that people I think kind so of too. picked up on. Yeah, I wish I had. Kind of, <laughs> I, I, wish I, I wish I had too. <laughs> I have no artistic ability at all. But you also have like a fall and spooky kind of sign making class as correct, well. So correct, correct. I here. think it's kind of down. Yeah, right here, right? There's a lot yeah. of different yeah. um, different sizes and sure. sayings. You kind of get to pick your okay. size and saying, and then you come and we'll create that with one of our makers. I love that. And we yeah. skipped over the chunky hand knit blanket class, okay. which <laughs> speaks to me. It speaks to you. So it's made with the same yarn as the pumpkins. Yes. Oh, okay. And do you know the, I didn't have one to bring. I so apologize. Soft. But yeah, they're super <gasps> soft and you make Oops. kind of a lap size blanket. That okay. class yeah, last wow. year, um, it sold out repeatedly, yeah. repeatedly. Like everybody loves those cozy yeah. blankets. I'm that person that can't get enough blankets. Same like I here. have the basket in my living room and it's probably got seven different blankets <laughs> in it and I can't get enough of them. I would love to do that class. There yeah. you go, sign up. Yeah, it's that fine. is very cool. Yep, there's some of the blankets. There, there. they are. Yeah, yeah they're those beautiful. Are so cool they're very cool. Very cool. cool. 
Talk a little bit about some of the other items that you brought here today because they're equally as beautiful. I mean, you know, we're going to be making things in your classes, but we have all kinds of other fall themed items as well. Candles, soaps. Yep, candles, soaps, wax melts. We just did a soap making class. Oh, wow. Um, and, but then we also carry soaps, bath bombs, and that from QC Soap Company. We have wood flower arrangements um, and kind of everyday decor, fall. Um, Halloween. This is a, a pillow again by Marianne, who's teaching mm -hmm. that class. Her pillows are really popular. Yeah. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we kind of have we we've have got it all. everything. We've got everything. I absolutely love that. Yeah, and you know, yeah. a lot of people are itching to get that fall stuff out, even we though, uh, you know, it's only September, but <laughs> oh, I mean, right. official fall is, is coming up pretty quickly, so this might be the perfect time to come find some locally handmade items to yeah. kind of spruce yes. up your fall decor. Perfect. I love perfect. it. Okay, well, the fall parking lot pop up event at Daisy Lane. It is this Saturday, September. 14th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Daisy Lane is located on Parkview Drive in Parkview, Iowa. We've got that address right there on your screen. And to learn more about the shop, follow them on Facebook. That's when you're going to learn about all these upcoming classes. You can also visit the website daisylaneNS.com. Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you guys Appreciate so much for having me, me again. Thanks as always.